jerk the trigger. trigger discipline issue that's for sure it's just ridiculous there's no recoil on this thing whatsoever at all you wouldn't tell by that shitty group that you see in front of you but it definitely is an adjustment needed well if you were a midget i'd be hitting you Starting to center it a little bit more. You can see the holes opening up. The groups are tight, but uh, dropping that front side a little bit. All right. Heat dissipation is pretty good so far. Not really feeling any issues with that. Not sure why. <sighs> Fuck. Pissing me off. Hey guys, welcome back. 1776 or bust. So a couple of things to start off with. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends if you have any. That would be great. And of course, if you're interested in some really cool merchandise for the channel, please go over to Teespring 1776 or bust Superstore and buy some. All right, moving on. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about something that is going to be coming out here soon for all of you. This is the original, or I should say the second generation of the carry module that Icarus Precision put out. Just a fantastic addition if you're a SIG lover. Um, you guys can see that. Uh, check out the video. You can see that there's the magwell on the bottom here. But uh, it is just a great product if you like your SIG P320. This one here is going to be their newest one that's going to be coming out soon. This is their SOCOM. And you can see already that there are some differences on here. You can see, this is their new module that's going to be coming out soon enough. And you can see that the grip is a little bit longer because it has a built-in magwell here. Uh, the actual grip angle is also slightly different because this is actually based off the STI, which is what some certain individuals in uh, special forces wanted to have uh, because they were being asked to carry P320. So as a result, they kind of contacted Icarus Precision. They said, could you make something based off an STI grip? And, and in my opinion, they got it right. Now, have I ever owned an STI? No, but you can definitely feel the difference between this grip here and the original carry module. Now, this is not a replacement for the carry. This is its entire own grip for an entirely different use. But the first thing I want to do is bring them down to the table so you can take a look at them. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But overall, just another fantastic piece of equipment. Again, if you're a SIG P320 fan, I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to go with something like this, but this thing is pretty sweet. So let's get to the table. All right, guys, welcome back to the table. And as you guys can see, I have a ton of stuff on here. So I'm going to start sliding some of these off, kind of give you a, a chronological look at everything. So this was their H Gen 1. This is their carry module. This is the first one I ever reviewed for them. And uh, it's pretty sweet. I mean, it, it doesn't have some of the features, obviously, of the new Gen 2. But still, nonetheless, it was a pretty remarkable uh, feel of a handgun especially if you're a little uncertain about SIGs. I mean, there are some people who love six hours and some people who really just don't like them. I'm kind of of the camp that I'm more or less meh about SIG. However, once I got introduced to the product, it kind of changed the way I looked at SIGs completely. So this is their more recent release, which some of you, I think, jumped on the bandwagon and got on this thing when it was being uh, issued with that little uh, discount code. And this is the X Compact. Um, wow. There's, what else can I say? I mean, this thing is just an amazing feeling handgun right now. It is uh, really easy to carry. There's really no issues with this gun whatsoever. It shoots really nice, shoots flat, nice uh, weighted grip. So, you know, to me, this is exactly what a Sig Sauer really needs to have in order to be just even better. They're good, solid builds of handguns. And uh, I think most people who are the Sig fanboy or girl, I'm not particularly either one of those, um, but at the same time, I think there are people who really love these handguns. And um, man, if you have not gotten one of these on the X Compact, you really should. It is just, it's a game changer for the handgun. It's such a smooth operating gun. There really is nothing to, to cry about or, or consider detrimental to this firearm once you get this lower. You know, other than that, it's, it's just still a Sig. 
But with those added benefits of that lower, it is just fantastic of a handgun. So let's look at this one really quick. This is the X-Carry. This is their Gen 2. You can see it has the magwell. But uh, again, really, really nice feeling handgun. Some of the features you saw in the X-Compact are not on here. For example, the undercuts. Uh, the grip is still kind of a traditional SIG grip on those X-Series models where you have that little bit of the hump in the back. And of course, that beaver tail like that. So, I mean, it is a fantastic feeling handgun. This was actually uh, my, my, my house gun, my home defense weapon. Uh, you can see that I've removed the slide and all the uh, fire control unit there because I'm about to show you something that is going to be coming out here again, brand new, and uh, pretty excited to show it to you. So here we go. So as you guys can see, this is going to be the next the next uh, release. Uh, this is coming in the second quarter of this year, 2021. This is the Icarus Precision SOCOM. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that there are some pretty, pretty interesting details to this firearm. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. And uh, you're going to notice that there are some features of this gun that are a little bit different from, let's say, the Gen 2 carry model. Now, again, this is a removable uh, magwell here. You can see here on the bottom that there's like almost like a hood at the bottom of the grip module or the grip module. And this is actually their built-in magwell. And uh, I don't want to even say built-in. It's, it's part of the actual lower. And what you're going to see here is that, yeah, it kind of looks strange. I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, hmm, that's, uh, that's kind of interesting slash strange. But then when you get it and you start playing around with it, you realize just how useful this actually is. Now, one of the things that I noticed when uh, you have a magwell like this, it's going to be easy to feed a, a magazine in there. There's no doubt. And, uh, you know, most people might slap it on the front here and then drive it in. Maybe you'll slap it right in the back drive it in that way, or maybe you're just an expert with your eyes closed and you're just going straight in. But uh, you'll notice that sometimes you'll catch on this lip here or on the lip in the back. This magwell is a little bit different because you don't have that extension in the front. So when you go to load your magazine in, you know, and I'm going to try to do this quickly here, you know, you're, you're hitting it right in that back area. So it's able to feed automatically in once you put it into this hood area. So you just have to work on the idea of kind of coming at an angle, like right about there, and you just ram it right in there. And it's perfect. Um, it is actually, it fits absolutely perfectly with that extension on that magazine. Keep in mind, it's a 21 round magazine. No, it's not a 21 rounder anymore. It is a 10 rounder. But you do have that extra piece on the bottom there, that grip or the mag extension. And it just allows you to feed it in. Now, this will not take a 17 round magazine on a standard carry. Uh, you'll notice it sounds like it locks in place, but it does not because of this piece here. So you're going to have to get an extension for your magazine if you want it to work properly. Now, in regards to the biggest change that you're going to notice, aside from this part, is you can see that the beaver tail, again, I'll zoom in a little bit, the beaver tail is actually angled up even more. Now, that may not seem like a big deal. And again, some people may say, oh, that's just too much of a curve, whatever it is. But what you're going to notice is that when you see this, uh, it may not, you may not notice all the differences. When you get it in your hand, what you're going to find is that because this is curved up a little bit more, and let me do a real quick comparison here so you can see it. When you line these up side by side, what you're going to find is you're able to get a little deeper into here than versus the old or the Gen 2 carry. Now, there's two th reasons why this is. First off, you've got this beaver tail that curves up pretty high up compared to that. And again, it may not be exact just because I don't have the slide on this one. So I might be able to adjust it a little bit more like that. But you're going to be able to get a little bit deeper under here uh, because of this curvature. But the biggest difference that actually makes this an improved feel compared to this, because this feels great, don't get me wrong, but this feels even better than that, and there's one reason why. You'll notice there's no hump. There is a slight hump in the back here on the, B, the 320X Carry Gen 2, but there is nothing here. So the reason why is that is they actually designed this on an STI 2011. So you're not going to really have any humps here. It's going to be a straight 2011 grip. You have that high beaver tail, so it allows you to get a little bit further into the gun a little bit further up on the gun, and more importantly, just much more, I don't want to say ergonomic because it makes it sound like this one is not, but I have to say, guys, it actually feels a little bit more ergonomic. Now, you'll also notice here that you've got your undercuts. You've got your first undercut here, your second undercut there as well. You can see everything's been skeletonized on the actual trigger guard, and also a little bit more in here. So very similar to that X-Compact frame. Now, I have to say, when I was holding this gun and I actually shot the gun, I got to, ch you know, I didn't have enough rounds. That's the problem. I only had 100 rounds that I could actually spend at that point uh, because I'm running out of ammo, which kind of sucks. And I never thought I'd ever say that, but that's where I'm at. 
So I only got a chance to shoot 100 rounds through this thing. And in my opinion, it's just not enough to really familiarize yourself with the way this thing is going to shoot. First off, it's extremely flat shooting because of the weight. Uh, the trigger on this thing is an apex trigger. So it's, it's almost like it's just too easy to shoot. And it's not necessarily something you're used to because uh, there's no recoil. The trigger is really smooth. It's just it's a crazy good gun. Now, the other thing that I noticed is when I was playing around with this grip, because you have these ex extra undercuts here on this frame, one of the things I noticed, I was able to even get a better grip because I was able to push my handle even a little bit more further up so I can actually get a little more control on that firearm to, to reduce any real recoil. And you're just getting a solid, solid, solid purchase on this gun. So overall, when you look at this thing, you know, you even look at the, uh, the texturing on here. So again, another great job of that uh, texturing they're using on this aluminum. Everything in this gun is just amazing. I mean, this to me is built, obviously, more to the X-Compact version because you have these features on here, plus you have that type of uh, more of a rounded grip, I guess you could say, and even a little straighter grip. But I have to say, guys, this SOCOM is pretty badass. Um, you know, even with the X-Compact, you see a little bit of a hump on that grip there. Again, much straighter compared to this one. And overall, you know, the question would be, well, what are you going to use this for? I mean, who is this really built for? Well, to be honest with you, it's built for anybody. I mean, could you use this firearm to conceal carry? Yeah, you could. I mean, would it be difficult? It's going to depend on what you're wearing. You know, if you're wearing a tank top, yeah, you're not going to be able to conceal this. It's obvious. But if you're wearing a long shirt, a jacket or something, you could easily conceal this. You could easily put this on an outside waistband holster and then, you know, pop on a long shirt or something like that. But uh, it, could it be for carry? Yeah, I think it could be. Um, you do have a lot of interesting features here. I mean, you get those extended magazines in there. Again, super easy to insert those mags, so you don't have an issue with that. So that would take me maybe to a competitive edge. I think maybe a, com a competition gun. I don't know all the rules for competition, but that to me would be a possibility. Interestingly enough, I don't know how much that would work because, you know, I guess they weigh the magwell and all that other stuff on some of these, but this is incorporated into the actual slide or the frame. So I'd be interested to know if that would actually interfere with any type of competitive shooting. So for you competitive shooters out there, let me know in the comments. The other thing is also for duty carry, if you're a police officer, this would also be, in my opinion, would be a pretty awesome gun to carry because it's, uh, again, super, super comfortable. You've got that aluminum grip, long magazine, uh, and it just works really well. So could I see duty use? Yeah, if your law enforcement agency allows you to carry this type of firearm, why wouldn't you? And then, of course, you have the military. Now, again, keep in mind, uh, they were, you know, Icarus Precision was, was asked, hey, can you build this off an STI model so that special forces could use this weapon? And uh, to me, I'm no special forces guy at all. Uh, but I don't, but listen, man, if I had a choice to carry this, would I carry this? Hell yeah, I would. And uh, the reason being is because you're getting quality, you're getting a build of aluminum. You're getting the fact that it is so easy to get your, you know, you know remags in or put your magazines in there. Um, it is just, just absolutely awesome. I mean, there's really nothing that I would say is a negative about this firearm. Now, if I'm going to take the gun down really quick, what you're going to notice here is when, again, you look at the craftsmanship that they put in this thing, there is no tooling marks whatsoever. This thing is just pristine. It is just a well-built machine. And, uh, I can't say enough how much I love these products. Yeah. You can all say I'm a sellout, whatever. I really don't care, uh, because I'm going to stick behind companies like this who are developing products for people who are either just for concealed carry, competitive shooting, law enforcement, military use. To me, this is a company that's doing it all right now. And I would suspect that they got a couple of more surprises coming down the pipe. Um, and I may know some of those things, but I've been told I cannot say or, or I get killed. But uh, nonetheless, great stuff. Again, Icarus Precision guys, check them out. If you're interested in anything, I would go to their website. I'd go to their Instagram page. You know, you can get a compact... You can get a carry. <laughs> you can get a P365 aluminum lower. You guys can pretty much do anything you want with these 365s, 320s, whatever it is that you're going to buy from SIG. I would highly recommend going and check them out. So leave those comments down below, guys. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. And as always, everyone, freedom is never free.